today, we're taking a gift with purchase micro scale and turning it into a full size modular building. Stay tuned to see how it came out. Welcome back to Riz Bricks. Today, we're gonna try something a little bit different than what we've been doing. I'm taking a gift with purchase set, a micro scale building of a fruit store and turning it into a full size modular building. The Lego fruit store limited edition gift with purchase set 40684 with 337 pieces released in April, 2024. The fruit store was a gift with purchase with purchases over $200. I love this set. It's so cute. I love the micro scale sets. I love the micro scale modular buildings that came out 10 years ago. That was the set that got me back into Lego. So seeing this set and the corresponding sets that I think there was a flower shop before it and then the houses of the world last year and there's a few more coming out this year. Loved it. Love this set. Love this scale. Love the way they look. They look great on shelves. They don't take up as much space. They're so cute. I love this one so much. I said, you know what? The design is simple enough. Let me see if I can turn this into a modular building, a full size modular building. It would make a great addition into my modular city. Building the original set, it's not a lot of pieces. It's under 400 pieces. It's really quick, but it has a lot of cool details. The fact that you can remove the floors and then you can have access to the inside of the store with all the different fruits. Uh, in printed tiles and stickers really really cute a whole bunch of fruit on the outside making it really nice for curb appeal so it's not as impressive inside but the curb appeal is really nice for this little building showing off the awning in the red and white and then having all the different fruits and vegetables and the interesting street sign right up front upstairs there's two tiny tiny apartments with a lot of nice details at this scale so really really cute uh bed with a TV and a desk and a chair, you know, some nice details on a nice micro size set that will look great on a shelf with all the other limited editions. After building this and looking at the instructions and figuring out what I wanted to do, I placed a Lego parts order from the Lego website for about $90 to source all the pieces of how to make this set. I ordered the pieces and then started building the set and putting it together. And it came out fantastic. Let's take a look my full-size fruit shop it looks really good and it matches the little one so perfectly really like this was such a fun project such a fun exercise and challenge to try to match the style of a tiny set that lego came out with but create a full-size mini figure scale building i added all of the details found in the original one one thing i switched up was adding a door and staircases to go upstairs that was not existent in the original to create this entryway on the right side of the building to allow it to make sense to go up to the top floors where the apartments are. I really like how this came out. I like the the amount of detail and the curb appeal that it has by putting all those fruits using stuff from the original set and stuff that I had laying around and then the parts that I ordered to have you know the orange slices and the strawberries and the pineapples and the pumpkins and the cherries and carrots and grapes all this great stuff out front i got a guy wearing an apron to be the shop owner and a couple of a customer and then somebody to be one of the residents of the apartment building i love the building i love the two-tone colors for the apartments matching the two tones on the tiny one with the blue and the green the red structure for, for the main structure, the red color for the main shop, and then using gray for the sides, again, matching what the miniature set had uh, so that it looks identical. One of the things that I did in the large set was similar to the style that was used on the tiny one was mounting windows sideways. So I put door frames mounted completely sideways with plates so that they can get mounted and then you can get mounted sideways so they can create these large panel windows going side to side instead of breaking it up with tinier windows. I really like the way that looks and I did recreated that on the back as well and you can get a better look there. You can get a better look at how the windows are structured to, to go side to side versus smaller windows. And it works really, really nice to make something that we haven't seen in other sets, so a nice feature there did wanted this to match the other modular building so created the sign in white rather than black in the original uh, but other than that it's pretty much a one-to-one -one recreation of the tiny building let's take a look inside 
the first level has so much detail with all the fruits in there laid out. You know, you got a cash register, you have some apples, some pineapples, some bananas, some grapes, some products behind there, a cash register with a weighing station so you can weigh your fruit. Really tried to take what was in the original set and find clever ways of recreating those with different pieces to change the scale. And then including filling up the space with it still feeling open and then tiling off the bottom with all white to give it a nice finished look. On the right side of the entrance is the apartment entrance with a staircase that leads up to the apartment. Again, creating a little foyer mudroom type situation uh, for the townhouses and apartments that are upstairs. It also allowed that the building not to be as big with the red, white, red, white, red, white and getting too repetitive up front to have that be unique and break that up. And then it looks better on the street with other buildings because realistically that's how they are. You always have a storefront and then just an entrance to go up the apartments. Upstairs didn't go too crazy with the detailing yet. They're, they're still, you know, they're still renting out or finding tenants for this apartment, but it's got some seating and a TV and some tables. Uh, and some end tables and a bookshelf uh, created a little apartment upstairs there uh, and then connecting the steps with some railings and finishing everything off with some white bricks that I found on the pick a brick wall picked up a ton so I'll be doing a lot of white floors for a lot of things because I do like the way that looks the detailing on the top floor has the the, f the plants and flowers on the window sills and then the curved slopes on the sides and on top of the windows to create this nice window effect in the same color as the building structure. That was one of the biggest challenges is finding these pieces in these colors to match the original set while changing the scale, changing the scale to a larger curve than having it still match and feel the same. I think I was able to pull that off pretty good with how the original one looked to make it still feel very similar to the original. The top of the building, the roof, is a great technique that I loved from the original set was using alternating color tiles in the round tiles to allow this kind of stuccoed look. Really nice, and then putting masonry bricks for the chimney at the top, matching the ones on the small set. I also bought a sticker sheet from Bricklink so that I can have the signage for the fruit shop and then the different fruits inside that are on plates matching the original set. So I bought another sticker sheet for 79 cents off of Bricklink, which was a great deal, um, to be able to have a lot more of the details that were in the original set also show up in the larger set. This was a really fun challenge and a fun build to try to create something that looks good, has a lot of detail and a lot of curb appeal, but really doesn't use a ton of parts and is based on something that already exists. So using something as inspiration. I recommend this for people who are trying to get into custom modular buildings or custom mocks. Take something that already exists and use that as inspiration to try to make your own and try to change things to make them your own and make them better than the original sets. This is, I love this. I can't wait to see what other buildings Lego comes out with in this micro size scale that I might do in full scale for my modular city. I'd love to see what people think of this building and doing more of these. Please leave a comment down below and let me know which building you'd like to see me do next. And let me know what you think of this. I think it looks great. I think it came out fantastic. I'm really proud of it. And it looks so good with the other buildings. It looks so fantastic. I know it's a bit lower. It doesn't have a third floor but it offers a different look in the building, kind of a commercial space. I have so many more buildings planned. I appreciate the support and continue to support. Give us a follow on TikTok and Instagram to see more photos and more detailed looks at all of the buildings and everything that I create. I post on those channels as well. Uh, really different content than what I do here on YouTube. Take a look, let me know what you think. Really appreciate everybody's support and, and I love you know, making these buildings and seeing people react to them and then having people try them themselves and see what they come up with. Getting inspired and inspiring others is all really what Lego is all about. And remember, most importantly, stay creative and stay building.